is up everybody and welcome back to my channel today's video is very exciting i have a lot of beginning announcements that i need to go over with you guys but first i just want to say if you are new here hello my name is katie i live in orlando florida i do shop with me videos decor videos cleaning motivation target hauls home goods that sort of thing so if you are interested and like any of those sorts of things and you haven't yet definitely go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos and while you're down there go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up today's video is going to be a kirkland's and cost plus world market shop with me these are two stores that i don't regularly shop at so it's gonna be a new experience for all of us if you don't really shop there either I did go ahead and pop into these stores earlier this week to kind of get like a feel for it and see like if it is something that I think that you guys would like and I found a lot of really cute stuff that I'm literally so interested in buying so I'm really excited to show you guys around these stores I will say cost plus world market I have shopped at a couple times so something fun that they do around this time of year is like a scavenger hunt type promotion so two years ago they did like golden bells and every day on Twitter they would put out a hint of like where the bell would be hidden in the store and it was really hard to find but if you found the golden bell you won a gift card and the gift card was anywhere from like ten dollars to a hundred dollars and they would hide I think like four bells twice a day so they would do like four bells in the morning and then once they were found again at four o'clock they would put out four more bells and it was just honestly so fun they do keep track of like when you win and all that stuff so you can't like come in and do it every single day but it was super super fun and then last year they did the same thing but they hid like these golden packs of cookies and they haven't yet announced like what they're gonna do for 2020 but I really hope that they do it again even with everything going on because it was a really fun promotion that got me into the store and I feel like it's a store that's unique to me and I was a unique shopper to them so it got me in the store and it got me a gift card which then I definitely ended up spending more money than I had won on the gift card so I think that they definitely accomplish what they're trying to do when they do the little scavenger hunt so I'm really hoping that they do it again because if it's something that you guys haven't heard of I wanted to make sure that I told you guys about it and I'll let you guys know if they do end up doing it I'll either post it on my Instagram story or update you guys in a future video I know I'm probably gonna get some questions so I wanted to go ahead and let you know that my mask is from Francesca's I do get lots of questions about my masks all of my masks are from Francesca's I have a really small face so it's hard for me to find ones that fit me and I've really just had a lot of success there and then I also got this little mask chain I'm super in love with this I'm gonna order a couple more from their website this was the only one that they had left in store but I love their masks definitely go ahead and check them out they always have great sales online so just wanted to go ahead and say that I'll go ahead and link some of them down below my favorites because they do sell a couple different brands of masks and some of them fit me and some of them don't so if you have a smaller face I'll go ahead and link all my favorites down below and then some mask chains as well I also wanted to go ahead and mention that in my last few videos I have been testing out a couple different cameras so I was testing one camera and you may have noticed that the video went in and out of focus several times so I decided to return that camera and just invest in a really nice new camera so if you guys notice a difference please let me know down below what you guys think of like the video quality and everything it's obviously super important to me that I'm putting out good video quality and good audio as well and speaking of audio if you're hearing like raindrops I think everyone was so busy talking about the election that everyone forgot to tell Florida that there was a hurricane coming. So we have found ourselves in the middle of a tropical storm that's like turning into a hurricane and I honestly had no idea that it was even coming. So I think everyone was just so busy talking about all the election stuff, but surprise. So if you hear rain, that's why. But honestly, it's nice because normally it rains here every single day during rainy season and we're kind of at the tail end of it and it hasn't rained in a couple weeks. So it's been pretty nice to have the rain. And then the last thing I wanna talk about before I go into the store is that I am not alone today and some of you guys who have been here for a long time will be really excited to see who is shopping with me today. I have a special guest and I have Eddie! Hi everyone! Oh my gosh, Eddie's in my video. I was leaving to film and he was like, do you want me to come? <laughs> and I was like, absolutely, get dressed, let's it's go. It's been too long. So we are going to shop around together. We actually were doing like the Bell scavenger hunt thing together um, like two years ago. So I don't think that they're doing it yet, but we're going to go ahead and shop around. Like I have told you guys in several videos, we are all splitting up and getting our own apartments in January. So Eddie's shopping for apartment stuff for his place. I'm shopping for apartment stuff for my place. Specifically in this video, I'm going to be highlighting all the Christmas decor that they have at these stores and then everything else I'll just show you that I think is cute. Plus, Cost Plus World Market it has some really cool food and I'm looking for something that I can make for dinner tonight so I'll show you guys what we find oh, in there too idea. yeah something fun something 30 we made soup that one time that big potato soup yeah. that was really good I'll show you guys that they have these like soup mixes that are really good and super easy they put everything in a bag and they just tell you what to add and 
I mean, the ones I've tried have been really good. Alrighty, well, that has been the longest intro ever, so we are gonna stop blabbing, go ahead and get shopping, and if you're interested to see the Christmas decor and all the fun things they have at Kirkland's and Cost Plus World Market, just keep on watching. Just to highlight the dedication it takes, look at the commute that I have to make to make this video. So long. Okay, so we just came in, and right off the bat, I really, really like these three sets of paintings. So you get all three, and then you can just like arrange them the way that you want to. But they're super modern and black and white, but actually it's more of like a beige. I just like it because it's still warm, but they are pretty modern. They are pretty pricey though. For the three frame pictures, it's $120. I will say though, here at World Market, I feel like there's always a coupon. Like it's one of those stores where there's literally always a coupon for everything. So I would check for coupons or check online. They do a lot of online deals if you do like curbside pickup and stuff because of the pandemic. So I would check with that. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be all stores, but in my store, right next to the front entrance is Thanksgiving pantry essentials. So it's like all things that you would use to cook. So they have like different like gravy bases. They have like mushroom gravy base. They also have like stuff for like turkey brine and also like cooking essentials. So like, a baster, a thermometer, a turkey pan. They also have stuff for like appetizers, so like charcuterie boards, and then also like dessert pans. Just imagine bringing your pumpkin pie in this. So serving up a beautiful pie and some vibes. They also have like pie top cutters, cookie cutters, pumpkin pie filling, pecan pie filling. Honestly, just so many essentials for the holidays and it's literally right when you walk into the store. If I turn around, there's even more. It's crazy, the stuff that they have, like right when you walk in, it's all very, very helpful. They have things to make side dishes easier, veggie roasting seasonings, just all this great stuff chicken stock, vegetable stock. This would be a good place to come if maybe your grocery store was out of something. This could be like one of those hidden gen places you could come and it could save the day because they have chicken stock. I don't know, something to think about. Okay, approaching the Christmas section, they have so many different advent calendars. This is the one that caught my eye because Brian and I are absolutely obsessed with hot sauce. So if you have a hot sauce lover in your family, that would be a really good gift. Also would be a good gift for like a white elephant because I feel like some people might get stuck with it who don't really like hot sauce, but they could be pushed out of their comfort zone. 12 Days of Hot Sauce Advent Calendar comes in at $24.99. They also have like 12 Days of Cocos, 12 Days of Candy, so many different advent calendars. Traditional more like chocolate ones. This is Fruit Spreads and Honey. That's another really fun one for like charcuterie boards and stuff. So many fun ideas. Eddie has the 12 days of, what is it? Italian cookies. Italian cookies. And then if you flip it over, it like shows you all the cookies on the back. And we were just saying how much we love Italian cookies. Okay, I decided to flip over the 12 days of hot sauce. And these are all the different hot sauces that it comes with. I want it. I want the, all the little tiny bottles of hot sauce. Just found a deluxe lint chocolate advent calendar. Sign me up for that. That one's a bit more expensive. That one comes in at $30. Eddie, they have 12 days of pasta. Oh my God. <laughs> How fun is oh, that? Oh, that's really fun. Oh, and then they have the 12 days of wine. Days of wine. Mm. Wait, and then they also have a bubbly box. But there's another wine advent calendar. How fun is that? The wine one is a bit more expensive. That one's $50, but you do get 12 mini bottles of wine. That's pretty fun, so I feel like it's worth it. Let's see if I can figure out what comes in it. So the 12 days of wine comes with each one of these. So like Cab Sav, Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Sweet Riesling, Merlot, Sauvignon Blanc. Eddie just pointed out this ornament for me. Look at that. <laughs> How cute. Brian is obsessed with these like old fashioned ornaments, like the ones that look like they would have been on a tree in the 90s. Brian is all about them. They're not really my thing, but I'll humor him. They definitely have the ornaments broken up into like different sections. Those ones were more like colorful old fashioned ones. These ones are more like blue tones and naturals. I'm obsessed with this one. Really Ooh, that one is so pretty. I have highlighted Christmas counters like this in several of my videos. This one's really cute and super nice. This is an all wooden one. It has like little drawers that you could pull out every day and you could put like little like M&Ms or little treats inside of there, whatever you'd like. 
I actually guess this one lights up as well, and this one comes in at $39.99. Bottle brushes continue to be the trend for this year, especially, I feel like. And I love these as well. These are so cute. Definitely my style. A little bit more bohemian. I feel like it's funny and ironic that they put this color next to it because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that this is the color I was going for this Christmas. Absolutely loving these ceramic trees as well. The small ones are $14.99 and then the medium sized ones are $19.99. And then they have a big, big one too that is $25. Those are really cute and I love how they arrange them right here because that's totally what I would do. And then these are really catching my eye too. They have like the most intense paper, like string lights and stuff, but it's literally like as if you were making a paper snowflake, but like they already did it for you and you just puff it up. Like that's so cool and it lights up. One thing I really like about World Market is like all the food that they have. So they have so many different foods from so many different countries. I do think that's why it's called World Market. Um, and they just have so many fun things, like different treats from all different countries all over the world. And I love to do that. Little fun story, growing up when we would go to Epcot, obviously I wasn't old enough to drink. So me and my siblings would buy candy from all the different countries. And then we would buy like the weirdest stuff we could find. And then when we got back to the hotel, we would eat all the different candy from all the different countries. So I don't know. This kind of just reminds me of that. And I don't know. I just really like it. So you guys should definitely come and check it out. So you can get some different stuff for your kids to try this year. Okay, this is different. They have this really big, like, do-it-yourself 12-day advent calendar gift box. So you get to choose what you put in the little slots for each day. So that's pretty fun. That's definitely something that I would buy and do it for Brian. For a little gift each day leading up to Christmas. They definitely have the different styles broken up. This is more of, like, the traditional oh. Christmas really really cute like Christmas greens and then I really like this doormat that says baby it's warm inside I like what they did there I'm into the puns they have all the special Christmas cookies all lumped together this one featuring a royal couple and then these ones are my absolute favorite cookies in the whole world Danish butter cookies I don't know who else grew up eating these, but if you grew up eating these cookies, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know. It's $16 for the tin, and I really want to buy them just in case Brian hasn't tried them because they're definitely a little piece of my childhood. If you guys saw my last video, you will have seen that I was on the hunt for a gingerbread house. They didn't have them out at Target yet. They only had one, and it was like a gingerbread village, and I didn't really want to commit to building four houses, but I just hit the gingerbread building jackpot at World Market. They have so many different things that you can build that are gingerbread and they look super fun. Let me just show you. They have a holiday camper gingerbread cookie kit. They have a gingerbread house kit that is already pre-built. They have a couple of those. They also have a holiday barn gingerbread cookie kit. That one's $13. And then they also have this set of like all these extra candies that you can put on it, which is super fun because if you've ever built a gingerbread house, you know that they don't ever give you enough candy. Oh my god, I've never seen anything that my roommate needs more. It's literally Barbie's cookie gingerbread dream house. How cute is that? They also have like a giant build your own gingerbread man. And then they have the Candyland gingerbread house kit, which is the one I'm leaning the most towards because it definitely seems like it comes with the most candy. But oh my gosh, look at it. Doesn't Kim need that? Look at that. Yeah, she would be obsessed with that. <laughs> this is definitely like the funniest thing. Definitely the funniest <laughs> gingerbread house I've ever seen. I want these so bad. Like, hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I'm obsessed with peppermint. Also have tons of stuff for hot chocolate. So they have like cocoa cones. So like you just put that straight in with like warm milk or however you like to make it. They have these chocolate snowmans that you can put into warm milk and make hot chocolate. They also have like Rice Krispie treats. And then these are fun. They have like peppermint spoons. So you'd use this to stir your hot chocolate and then your hot chocolate would taste like peppermint. So those are fun. I like those. They had something like that in the Wonder Spot last year, I think, or the Wonder Shop at Target. And I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I'd be willing to try them here because here they have like Belgian chocolate and super nice stuff like that. So. Maybe I'll pick some up and have some hot chocolate. Target actually has these same little waffle makers. They're $10 here as well. They also have an egg bite maker. I actually kind of want that. We're obsessed with the sous vide egg bites from Starbucks, but they're super expensive. 
Then they have like egg cookers. They also have dog treat makers, bigger size waffle makers, sandwich maker, an ice cream maker. Oh, and an air fryer. Okay, so we're actually gonna take a small break from food because they also have furniture and stuff here. And like I said, me and Brian came here a couple days ago just so I could kind of get a feel for the store. And we found this bar cart that we really, really want to get. And I think that you guys would love it. So I want to show it to you guys. But it is so cute. So the vibe. And yeah, I'll just show it. So this is the bar cart. It was actually Brian that picked it out. But it is gold. And then it has like the natural wood has a place for everything you can put like wine bottles on the top and then there's a spot for like wine glasses there and it's just so cute we just love the gold mixed with like the natural wood a lot of the stuff that we're getting has that so this is totally perfect one of the biggest sections in the whole store is actually the wine and beer section they seriously have wines and beers from all over the world and they always have good deals going on them so if you're looking for something new, something to try that might be from a different country, I would definitely come here. It's seriously such an eclectic store. Like, I don't even know what other word to use to describe it because they have like alcohol and drinking games and like Christmas decor. They also have really nice furniture. They have foods from all over the world. I'm like struggling to figure out what to show you because there's so much stuff to show you. It's a really, really fun store. I definitely recommend coming here if you have one in your area. So I was just thinking about it and I feel like this is just a great place to come if you need a gift because they have so many different like gift sets and like fun different things and I feel like it's a store that like not a lot of people think to come to. So I feel like you could definitely find something here that nobody else is gonna have but everybody's gonna wanna know where you got it. So I think if you need a gift, this is where I would go. Like this is perfect for like a white elephant or like a different like gift exchange, like a secret Santa or something like spicy margarita maker, um, cocktail mixers. This looks like a pretty fun drinking game. It's called the Wheel of Misfortune. Just so much different fun stuff. They have like more like whiskey based stuff that I feel like guys would like and you know, just different games. So I know I've mentioned it a few times, um, but Brian and I are obsessed with hot sauce and I just got really excited because they have a whole end cap filled with hot sauces right here. And I don't think I've ever told this story either, but when we went to Brian's family reunion over the summer, we stopped in Charleston for a night because it was the in-between spot from where we were going. And we are obsessed with the YouTube show Hot Ones. If you have never seen it before, I'll link some of my favorite episodes down below. But it's basically where they ask celebrity hot questions while they eat even hotter wings. So they eat 10 wings and each wing gets hotter and hotter as they go. And it's just so funny because they get really, really spicy. So we bought one of the spiciest ones that they had that we could find in Charleston at the store we were at. Brought it to Beach Week and we all ate it. And we literally all died. Like it was so hot. Definitely the hottest thing ever. And the heat just like lasted. Like we were miserable for like 30 to 45 minutes, but it was still fun. I would do it again. So obviously it wasn't like that bad, but they have more hot sauces here. And I don't know, I wanna pick one up for Brian like as a little surprise or like a stocking stuffer. So I wanted to come over and show you the soup mixes I was talking about in the beginning of the video. This is the one, it must be pretty popular, but ah, I'm dropping everything. This is the one that I really like, the loaded baked potato soup. It has everything in here and then it just tells you what to add and really quickly it turns into a really delicious soup and they have a lot of different varieties like jambalaya, white chicken chili, just a bunch of different things. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick one of these up. They have a great selection of like gnocchis, pastas, all different shapes, like ones that might be hard to find at a regular grocery store. I think I'm gonna get these because they're little tiny raviolis, <laughs> ravioletti. Never heard of them, but they look absolutely delicious, so I can't resist. What I mean when I say the store is eclectic is like they have all the food, and then you come over here and it's all like lighting, office supplies, coffee tables, throw pillows, literally just the most random stuff. They sell couches, furniture like I said, rugs, just literally anything you could imagine. They also have lots of really cute like handmade artisanal decor, just so many, it's endless. It, this stuff that they have and the randomness, it's endless. 
All right, well that was my overview of World Market. Now we're gonna head to Kirkland's and I'm gonna show you all the Christmas stuff that they have there. So we're gonna go ahead and check out, I think we both only got food and alcoholic items. I will go ahead and show you guys what we got later. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories I'm honestly so overwhelmed by how much cute stuff this store has. I don't know why I don't shop here more often. It definitely is more rustic, but you can find stuff that fits any style. I'm obsessed with all this green stuff that they have. I literally want everything, but let me show you the things that I'm trying really hard not to buy right now. So this whole wall of pillows, but specifically this green Merry and Bright pillow. I also love this old Christmas pillow, the Believe, like they're just all so perfect. If you were going for like green decor, they're just all seriously, the cutest ever. Kirkland's is another store where the prices are like a little bit high in my opinion, but always buy it with a coupon. They always have coupons in line for store pickup. You can ask them if they have coupons. They have coupons that you can find online that they'll apply to your transactions. Definitely don't ever buy anything here without a coupon. Like the stuff is super cute, but like they make the prices high. So then you use a coupon. It's like one of those weird types of things. But I really do love like all the stuff they have here. Like all these really cute like Merry Christmas signs and seriously just the cutest stuff. Eddie and Travis have gotten a lot of stuff from here. They're going for more like gray rustic vibes in their apartment. And the stuff they've gotten is really, really nice. I really like this tall Merry Christmas sign because I think it's like six or seven feet tall. A lot of the times there's just really short ones like this. And I feel like this one would definitely make an impact. This one is not that bad of a price either. If you had a coupon, it's $64. Here in Florida, things tend to last multiple seasons because we don't have snow or really, really harsh weather like that, especially in our winter. It's our most mild time of the year. We don't really get rain in the winter or anything. So something like that would last for years. So I feel like it would definitely be worth the money to invest in something like that for your front door. It's seriously raining so hard outside that I keep having to like stop filming because it sounds like the roof is gonna cave in and the roof also leaked on Eddie's head. Dead. <laughs> rain drops, drop top. <laughs> More really, really cute holiday welcome mat. That one says home for the holidays, all that different stuff. I think Eddie's getting one. What one are you getting? This welcome one. Ooh, red truck vibes. <laughs> I found these signs that I really, really like. They have the sage green that I like, and I feel like they would be perfect for an office. Brian and I are actually moving into a two-bedroom apartment, so we're gonna have our room and then a guest bedroom, but it's also gonna double as an office. Due to everything going on in the world, we both work now full-time from home, so we definitely need a dedicated office space for both of us to go and work. We don't have that right now, and it would just be such a game changer for us. So I feel like those would be perfect for like the space in our office. Okay, I found a hot deal on candles. They look just like Bath and Body Work candles and they're $9.99 and they have all different scents. They have like really yummy ones. They look just like ones you'd see at Bath and Body Works, like the fonts and the lids. I need to give some of these a smell. I'm gonna smell frosted sugar cookie. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love like bakery type smells. Anything sweet it smells so good. Similar to other stores, they have a whole section of holiday stuff dedicated to our furry children. Absolutely love them. Little like pillows and like, that's me, world's best dog mom. I like that a lot. The dog did it. 
They have little like treat things and they also do have a cat one for all you cat lovers out there. I know you guys definitely don't get enough love and you definitely get a bad rep, so I'm sorry about that. Kirkland's honestly reminds me of like a very scaled down, more expensive Hobby Lobby. I like them both, but I definitely find myself shopping at Hobby Lobby way more. Hobby Lobby is also like six times the size, so I think between the two I like Hobby Lobby, but this one is just smaller. This one's more like niche. It's more farmhouse where I feel like Hobby Lobby has everything like really broken down into different themes and everything. It's just, a, a, it's a different store of course, but they are pretty comparable, I think. Okay, I'm about to say a bold statement. In my opinion, Kirkland's has the best pillow selection. As far as Christmas pillows goes, they do have a lot of other really cute pillows too. But I say that because it's the most consistent because you can find more than one. And you know that like if you can't find it in the store, you can go to another Kirkland's or you can order online. Because Home Goods has really cute Christmas pillows, of course. But like if you need more than one, most of the time like you're SOL because at Home Goods it's like a free for all. It's literally the Hunger Games. Like if you don't buy something when you see it the first time, you never see it again. So that is why I'm saying that in my opinion, Kirkland's has the best and most consistent and cutest Christmas pillow selection. Okay, this is actually a sale that I'm excited to see. So if you don't know, these rugs are rugs that you put underneath like your welcome mat to just give it like a little bit more style. And they have all of them on sale for only $20. They have this really cute like Christmas plaid one that I think would look really, really nice with the welcome mat that Eddie's gonna get. But honestly, it would look nice with any Christmas mat because it's nice and big and it just gives it like extra style. I feel like most people don't take the time to like put this extra touch but it's definitely a big thing that's coming into style so something to look out for okay honestly same Kirkland's also has really really nice like accent chairs super super nice you can find really good deals on them if you just look online and do curbside pickup this one has a really really tall back but yeah these are super nice how much is it yikes oh okay well I guess the price matches how nice they are. Above the cash out, they actually have the sheet music for Jingle Bells. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know why. I'm so obsessed with the song Jingle Bells, but I really, really love that. And it's a super, super big portrait. Alrighty, we just got back from the stores and I just wanted to quickly show you what I got. Not anything too exciting or crazy. From World Market, I picked up these candies from Australia called Violet Crumble Nuggets. They're like honeycomb dipped in chocolate. It reminded me of um, this British candy bar. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it is like the same idea. It's like honeycomb and then it has chocolate around it, but I cannot remember the name of it to save the life of me. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it here that way you guys can see what it was, but I thought that this would be like that. It's a little bit different. I need to eat a few more before I make my final decision, but it's pretty good. Then I decided to pick up the tin of the cookies because I just grew up with these cookies and I don't know, when I saw them, I just could not resist. I just pictured myself with like a glass of milk or like a cup of coffee eating those delicious Danish cookies. Then I had to pick up that suit mix that I was telling you guys about. I can always feature this or let you guys know on my Instagram stories how it turns out. I'm gonna try to make it I think in a crock pot so like a little bit different and this is the first time I'll ever be making it truly the way it's supposed to be made because it's supposed to be made with bacon and normally I used to not put bacon because I didn't eat meat but this time I'm definitely gonna put bacon so I'll let you guys know on my Instagram how it is you can go ahead and check the links down below for my Instagram and then I decided to go ahead and grab these mini raviolis they just look so cute if we make these for dinner tonight I will put a clip in here and let you know how they are because they looked so good and I just had to pick them up but I don't know, we'll see if Brian wants to have pasta for dinner, I'm not sure. And then from Kirkland's, I just picked up two of the frosted sugar cookie candles. Actually, no, I got one frosted sugar cookie because it smells so good and I am just so obsessed with like sweet cookie smells. And then I also picked up um, cranberry apple cider. This one smells really good. I know Brian's gonna like this one. He likes more of like the fruity, type winter sun so i know that he will like that a lot all right you guys well that is going to be it for today's video i hope that you guys liked seeing a little overview of cost plus world market 
Like I said, I'm not sure if they're gonna do the like Jingle Bell, Hidden Bell scavenger hunt game this year, but if they do, I'll definitely be sure to let you guys know as soon as I find out that info because it is really, really fun. But like I was saying, World Market is just a really cool store and I wanted to show it to you guys. I also had a couple of requests. And then Kirkland's as well. Everybody knows and loves Kirkland's, but it's not a store that I shop at a lot, so it was fun for me to check out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot and it also helps out my channel if you hit the subscribe button while you're down there. That is gonna be it for me today and I will see you next time. Bye guys.